What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my detailing arsenal that I have in my garage as well as my detailing arsenal that I have in the truck. I know you guys seen it a couple of times but I just want to give you guys like an updated version because I know I've done one like this like a year and a half ago in my apartment when I used to live in the apartment. Pretty much I'm going to be showing you guys the products that I use on a day to day basis of me in my detailing world when I go detail uh, clients cars. So before we get this video started don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you all for the thousand subscribers like I said in the previous video and I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. So let's go ahead and let's show you guys the detailing art. Alright guys, sorry for the echo. I do have the garage closed because in the side of my house they're building more houses. So all you hear is pretty much the nail gun. So I'm sorry for the echo. I'm trying to reduce it on the editing software. I'm going to go ahead and be showing you guys right here in the little corner that I have where I have all my products and all that stuff with the 16 ounce bottles, 32 ounce bottles and five gallon uh, products that I use. So first, we're gonna start off back here. I do have my banner. Okay, so you guys can see I have all these layers, but in the first layer up here, I do have my window tinting um, boxes. So we have a, that's a 35, 35 uh, charcoal tin film. This is the case of it. So the, the top layer is usually all my tin where I have all my tin stuff and I haven't really organized this um, this detailing rack for a couple of days because I was busy this weekend. For the second layer, I do have a bunch of gloves right here. I wear size medium gloves. On the side of the gloves, we do have our 3D Nano Super Glass Cleaner. This is super concentrated. So it came, per, it came full obviously, but it was super concentrated. This little, you could say, quart or gallon um, does make five gallons worth of glass cleaner. Right here I do have another box of window tint. It's a 20% 36 inch by 100 foot roll of the tint film. Here, here's a tint film. There's a little bit extras right there just in case for the small windows. And right behind this tint we do have our polisher. This is from Chemical Guys a Torque 10 FX. I'm gonna go ahead and put the title right here of the actual the right one that it is. I've been having this for about three years. It's never failed on me. It's always done good miracles to the customer vehicles and they're always satisfied with the, with the results from that machine. And on the third layer of the show, we do have our Neon Suds Renegade um, color foam, which is, is the green one. This is the green one. And in the back here, we have, um, they're a little bit dirty because they've never been used, but this is the yellow. The yellow suds one so right here it tells you dilution ratio 1 to 200 so because you only need one ounce of this and fill up your 16 ounce of foam cannon with water but now the next thing of it i do have is 3d carnauba wax it's pain protectant um i really recommend this one this one i always use is between this one or the chemical guys uh wax as you can see i'm already halfway uh, I, I don't really use a lot of wax because I haven't really I haven't really done a lot of clay bar clay bar um, treatment work over here. Right next to the wax bottle or uh, gallon, we do have the Chemical Guys sprayable leather cleaner and conditioner. I mostly use this as a conditioner, but the reason I don't really use it as a cleaner is because I use an all-purpose cleaner to clean all leather, vinyl, plastics in the interior of the vehicles, and then I just go ahead and spray it on with this. So right next to the chemical guys, we do have our 3D wheel bright. This is a magic eraser for me. Really on some on certain wheels, like mostly on chrome chrome wheels, I usually just spray this on it, and without agitating, I just rinse it off, and all that brake dust comes right off, and the rims look like new, like if I scrub them. Um, this is a really my go-to. I always go through this a lot. I mean, I, I buy them fully concentrated, so that's why I like it. You, I pretty much dilute it like. I think like one of four or something like that. So pretty much you're looking at three to four ounces per 16 ounce bottle. So you would only be using like this much of product or maybe less. But I really recommend this one. If you guys haven't tried it, please go try this and let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts were on this product. It's not that expensive. Right next to the wheel brand, we do have our 3D Beat It Up. Um, it's a super hydrophobic polymer. So pretty much all you gotta do is just spray on the car and you wipe it out with a microfiber towel. And it gives, obviously by the name of the title, it's beat it up. It leaves a bunch of beads. It does leave a lot of beads, 
I really recommend this one as well. Um, this could also be used as a spray, as a spray wax protecting rather than a paste. This could be like a paste wax. This one makes the, it's pretty much like a detail spray and a wax, a two in one. I really recommend this product as well. Make here we have an extra tent. That'll be making a video on how to tent a small window. So y'all stay tuned for that. That's the reason I saved this for that specific video. So that's what we got on the third, on the third um, row. Now on the fourth row, I do have all my 16 ounce, 32 ounce, all that good stuff. So this, the bottom portion is gonna be a lot longer. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Our 3D cutting compounds and our polisher. So right here we have a, it's called one from 3D. It's a compound and polisher. And right here we have our step one of our just singular extra cut compound when you're doing a two-step paint correction. So this will be the one step and a two-step paint correction because the second step will be the final polish. So these are really good. And right here we have our 3D gum and tar remover. So whenever you have gum or tar on your car, this is like, um, it smells like acetone, but I don't think it's really acetone, but you should wear a mask when you use this. It works really good. And this is the trim care. So whenever your trim is really faded, um, you can restore it with this and it lasts a long, long time. And it's our chemical guys compound polishes. So with the 3D is with the, with the one step, that's the chemical guys one step. And then the compound, and the chemical guys compounds are right here, the third, V32, V34, V36. And then the polish will be V38 and then step two for 3D. But right here you guys can see we have our ounce bottles. We have our eight ounce bottles of the V-Line. Um, there's a VSS, that's a one step, V32, V34, V36, and V38. So pretty much the way this goes is the, the lower the number, the, the heavier um, is gonna cut. So normally you will start with a 34 or a 36 and then work your way down. So once you get the right result, you'll go ahead and start with the V38 and bring that polish back. So that'll be for the polishes. And over here we have our import car care wash and wax. Um, like I said, the products will be down in the description below, especially for this. This is the last time you guys are gonna be able to see this type of label. Cause new labels, like I said in the previous video, are coming in today. I do have to go pick them up today. So I'm really happy about that. So next video, I'll announce how the new products look and how they are. And right next to the wash and wax, we do have our bug remover. We have two with a 16 ounce concentrated um, bug removers. Over here in Texas, we have a lot of bugs. So this is a must over here in Texas. Not just Texas, but everywhere else where you're like in the countryside. So I really recommend to have that even though you're not in Texas. Right here, we have our spray bull leather cleaner conditioner. Um, this is what I use to condition it. This is the spray that I use. It makes it a lot easier. We have another bottle right there. And right here, we usually have that to fill up is our all purpose cleaner or our interior cleaner. Is the import card here? It's called next to the interior cleaner. We do have a metal polish from Chemical Guys. I use this for the um, for the exhaust. So whenever I wash the wash a car, only when they drop it off. This is this I charge for this for this service to polish it. But if they drop it off since they're wasting the gas to come here. I go ahead and do this for free. Um, this is just to clean the exhaust, the exhaust edges from the tip. So right here we have our Chemical Guys Maxi Suds Two. The the smell is great. Yeah, this smells like grape. I love the way it smells. Right here we have our interior interior dressing. The first. AGM detailing product label that came out. I still use it. I just refill it and then keep using it because as you can see the labels are still good. It doesn't even look messed up. It still looks like in good condition. But that's going to be it for this third row. And now in the last, in the bottom row, we do have our, our five gallons. This is the interior dressing. This will be the 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 um, detail detail sprayer. 
right here will be our tire shine and right here will be our our purpose cleaner and I'm gonna show you guys but back here is our Bokoshi cleaner back here is our wash and wax soap I'm running low and our bug bug remover right here and our yellow degreaser that we use to clean the rims and tires um, this degreaser works amazing on rims and tires all you got to do is just sit, apply it with any sprayer, you scrub it, and in one pass, all dirt grime that's stuck on the rim and tire will be removed. So I really recommend that one from 3D. Most of, as you can see, most of my products are from 3D. Bottom right here, we do have our, our tin film. And at the very bottom, right here, our, these are our paper floor mats. They are pretty much like this, our paper floor mats. And right here we do have our extra business card that we, we do. So pretty much at the bottom just extras and then our, our paint spray right there. But that's going to be it for this, for the rack. And just a quick note on the side is this brand new pressure washer Honda GC160 with the AR pump. But that is how my detailing arsenal is. I'm gonna show you guys my, my truck. I went outside right now and those guys are still working on the houses and stuff. So there's gonna be too much noise and you guys are not gonna be able to hear me. But it's pretty much what I have here, honestly. It's just instead of having all these here, I have one of each in the truck. Um, but if you wanna see the truck one, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll go ahead and make a, a truck detailing arsenal. This is just my arsenal for my garage so when customers drop out their vehicles and stuff i get to everything right away and easy fill up easy access for everything um it is hot in here in this garage that's why i'm sweating a lot but let me know down in the comments below i'm thinking about opening a uh, 3d i'm i'm thinking about becoming a 3d distributor um just selling 3d products i i know i'm having my own detailing line but i mean this is just for a store so just pretty much selling a bunch of 3D products, you know, cause that's pretty much all I use. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys think I should do that. I call them and everything. Like they already give me the prices to start and everything. And they are allowing me to have it in my garage. Um, to pretty much have it all set up, all right here on both walls, both side walls, uh, filled, filled with products, filled with pressure washers, filled with Pretty much anything you can find at a detailing store, you can find it here in this garage, but we'll always be stocked up and you'll never have to wait. And for shipping, we're planning, uh, whenever we ship stuff, we're trying to have it within two to three days to get to your location. So you don't have to wait over a week, over two weeks or a month. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys think that would be a good idea. I really love 3D, honestly. I've been using it since I started. So that's, I've been using 3D for like six years on it. Whether it's 3D and chemical guys, I use them both. Um, Chemical guys not as much anymore. 3D does. They sell every every product they have on five gallons or a, um, 32 ounces. So that's what I really love about them. But let me know down in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. Should I do it or should I not? Um, and would you guys order some stuff from me or from here and I have them shipped to you guys wherever you guys are at, all over the U.S. and stuff like that. But that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you did like this video. It was a little short video, but I just want to go ahead and do a little update on the detailing arsenal just because I was watching my old videos of my detailing arsenal and I haven't really done an updated one. Uh, the last time I posted that one was like in 2020 or 2021, but there's going to be an updated video, an updated version in the new house. Yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to, uh, to subscribe and comment down below if you guys think that's a good idea. To, to invest into become a distributor so you guys can go ahead and have one of the best products out. With that being said, I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.